Okay, so today's video is basically one that's been quite overdue. It's about medicine with foundation yet. Now, um, for those of you who have subscribed to this channel might know, might already know that I did medicine with a foundation yet at Durham. So I did my foundation yet two years ago now, and now I'm in my second year of medicine um, at Durham University. So, and a lot of people have been wondering what foundation year actually is, why would you do foundation year, um, what do you cover in a foundation year and how much does it basically cost? Now to start off with what actually is a foundation year? Now a foundation year is basically a year before you actually start medicine. So they class this as year zero. So you normally do five years of medicine but with a foundation year it's six years and your foundation year is classed as year zero. What it's meant to be for is people who have been out of education for quite a while they might not be uh, familiar with genetics or even the basic principles of biology and the basic basic concepts in chemistry. And the foundation year is there to teach you and to sort of introduce you to these topics and stuff to prepare you for medicine. Why would you do foundation year medicine? There are a lot of reasons why people would want to do medicine with a foundation year. Um, one of them might be because you didn't get the best AS grades um, during your A-level. So for me, I got two Bs, a C and a D in my AS and that kind of limits your chances to getting into medicine. So I had the opportunity of doing foundation year medicine, number one, because you can get in with lower predicted grades and, and number two, say for example, your grades aren't that good in A2, then I could get into foundation year medicine. And other reasons why people might want to choose foundation year medicine some people that I know are like 26, 27 years old and they've been out of education for quite a long time. So for example, their GCSE or their A-level grades are not um, suitable for direct entry medicine. And maybe they've been, you know, messing about or whatever or like having fun. And then now when they're 26 years old, they want to decide they, decide they want to do medicine. Well, foundation year medicine is when is is their base is basically their entry route into medicine what are the criteria for foundation year medicine if i have a look um i'll just read out basically there's there's a lot of foundation year medicine courses and there's a lot of different criteria but i'll i'll quickly read out the nottingham university's foundation year criteria so a level they expect you to have two b's and a c with a b in biology and chemistry gcse's they expect minimum of five grade B's, including grade B in biology, chemistry, and physics, maths, and English language. UK CAT, they expect you to do the UK CAT, but some unis, they give you like a reduced UK CAT um, threshold. So for example, for me, I got like a 100 point reduction in the UK CAT threshold. So everyone else had to get 750. I could get 650 and still get into medicine with foundation, yeah, basically. So, it, it helps a lot basically and then the catch is you have to meet additional criteria so not everyone unfortunately can apply for foundation year medicine there are additional criteria which you have to meet um, and these are your socio-economic background you have to meet one of these from group a and one from group b and from group a is living in a neighborhood that is less advantaged in terms of income education and other factors so you, they use a postcode tool to assess this um, so basically if you live in a deprived neighborhood or what the government classes as a deprived neighborhood then you'll get in um, if you also meet the other criteria so group B you have to meet one from this group as well in group B is you have previously been in local authority care looked after and um, so basically if you were in foster care or if you were adopted and um, that class that might class as a criteria from group B Living in a household with an income of no more than 35,000. Um, Nottingham are alright with this, but other universities sometimes look for um, household income of no more than 25,000 and 30,000. So the different unis basically um, differ in their criteria. Currently a sole carer of a parent or if living away from home, being the sole carer of a sibling. So basically, if you're looking after someone in your house, um, because they've got a disability or if um, you know your parents aren't there then you might basically meet one of the criteria for foundation year medicine also if you have current refugee status then again that also enables you 
to apply for foundation year medicine. So in general, they basically want you to come from a deprived neighborhood. Your parents' income should be quite low. Um, your GCSE, your A-level, they don't expect, you know, your three years. They will ex accept lower. So for example, two Bs and a C, um, sometimes three Cs, sometimes three Bs. In King's College, they accept three Bs. And if you're looking after if you're looking after someone in your family, they will, they'll also accept that. In terms of content, when I was doing my foundation year, the content was honestly, it was just A-level chemistry and A-level biology. It was just pure A-level again. So for me, it was quite boring because I've just finished A-levels and I have to do A-levels again for another year. But you do two years of A-level all covered in one year, basically. So six months you cover AS and the other six months you cover A2. Now, they do cut out all the crap. So for example, you don't have to learn about plant biology, um, all, all of that sort of stuff you don't have to learn. Um, and chemistry, they don't go into too much detail in chemistry. They also include a bit of statistics. So for example, I remember doing chi-squared and there was some other complex statistics stuff, but I hated maths, so I, I forgot all of that. Um, Other things that we covered were like interviewing patients, which was quite helpful actually. Um, we did do a bit of anatomy, but we didn't have cadavers. We didn't um, do too much in depth. Basically an overview of the human anatomy. So the lymphatic system and the heart, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, um, all of that sort of stuff. And that does help because the next year we covered the heart, the lungs and the liver. So I was quite prepared for that. The cost was £9,000, um, yeah, that's just like any normal year at university. And my experience personally, I would say that I enjoyed foundation year. It sort of made me, it sort of gave me time to prepare for first year medicine and speak to the other medics. So some people like foundation year, some people don't. Some people don't like it because you don't feel like you're part of the university, you feel like you're excluded or the fact that um, you're not, you feel like you're not doing a proper course sometimes that's what some people say that they're not you know they're doing a foundation year so you don't feel like you're doing proper medicine um but for me personally i enjoyed it because you know it get like it was it gives you the opportunity to prepare for first year medicine so it teaches you how to live independently to cook to to you know to study um try out different studying techniques and to get used to university life basically um, and living on your own so for me it was a good experience but for other people they might not like it because you feel a bit disconnected from the university or the campus life basically um, other than that the experience was a positive one I would recommend foundation yeah if you can't get in a direct entry if you can get in a direct entry medicine I would recommend that because medicine in itself it's quite a long course and you don't you don't want to be wasting time when you can get in direct entry um foundation year is only for people who you know this is their last this is their last chance so don't take up a space if you don't really need it basically because someone else might rely on that space um but other than that thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and bye for now